No, but who's gonna tell you? Who's gonna tell you? If your mental is not good, nothing is good. Taking care of your hygiene is one of the most feminine things you can do. So I'm not saying you have to buy it now. <laughs> and I feel like saying this might cause a controversy. I really don't care. I'm not judging, but get it together. You are literally the prize. Say hi for real. These are my cousins. All right. I'll get your lips, okay? Guys, guys, no, for real, be serious. This your girl be bands, yeah. I'm not even gonna waste no time. We here to get into it, we here to get into the tea. It is my last month being 19. I literally enjoyed my teens so much. Everything that you go through as a woman is a journey and your body changes so much. From a little girl to a preteen to a teen to a young woman and then a woman, like you're not the same. Your mind is just gonna keep growing and growing. First thing I got on my list is change your wardrobe to fit you. I don't say take everything out of your old wardrobe and throw it out, no. I'm saying this in a way that you can be more mature. Find your style. Research on what you think looks good on you. I would say go shopping, try on some clothes. I'm not saying you have to buy it now. <laughs> go see what you look like and see what you like in different styles. Don't be scared to change up your style, y'all. You could dibble and dabble in your wardrobe. You could just get new pieces and see what fits together, especially colors. Certain colors look better on your skin. From what I've learned, I've did a little research on color therapy. You can look it up on TikTok. It's literally like free game. The color is white, pink, red. Red is very seductive. Yeah. Red is a very like sexy color. It's very, you know, out there. Like baby pink is more so like a girly, very feminine color. Clearly, y'all can see that's my favorite color. So white is like a pure angel color. I feel like black is very like elegant. You know, these certain colors that you wear represent how you feel about yourself. I wear a lot of bright colors. I love yellow, orange, white, pink. Cause I just feel like that screams my personality. And I love gray, don't get me wrong. Gray, you can match with anything. I feel like if that's your aesthetic and it's not bright colors, look into more of you know, the dark colors and what looks good on what. And I feel like dresses and skirts look so much better. Now you might not be a skirt girly, I understand that. But I feel like you get treated differently when you're more modest. Just looking like your clothes fit you well, make sure your clothes are fitting you properly. But when you're more modest and you're just more put together, people treat you differently and with more respect. If you're walking into a spot and they see you wearing anything you don't care about how you look, you think they're gonna treat you with respect? It doesn't have to be skirts or dresses, it could be like silk, the material and the quality, that's what we here for y'all. Listen up, I'm not telling y'all to buy skims and expensive stuff, Aritzia. Why am I spending $90 on a jacket, $80 on a shirt, when I could spend $10? And this shirt and this quality is amazing. I'm not gonna buy things that are mad expensive, that are just out of my budget, just so I can look clean. You can look clean on a budget. You don't have to switch up your whole wardrobe and pay thousands of dollars just to look good. Like Whatever you feel confident in is what you really look good in. If you look good, you feel good. The second one I have is don't talk too much. No gossiping. Now, this is hard, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie, because when, when I see some tea on TikTok, I'm ready to call my bestie like, what's up? Did y'all see what happened? Gossiping is already, number one, that's a sin. If you are religious, you already know what I'm talking about. Gossip too much, you're talking about other people too much. It's not good for your mental health, and it's not good for your heart. Your heart needs to be as pure as possible. Women are the most angelical things that God has put on this planet. Like, we really have power, and whatever we say is very important. You gotta watch your tongue. Because you could be talking about somebody else, and then you go through that same thing, and now somebody talking about you. Now you're ready. Really be careful what you say and how you say it and who you're talking about because you never know what's going to happen. Like, be very mindful, for real. When you have a problem, I wouldn't say go to your besties all the time. You know what I mean? Like, you can talk to them, yes, about hearing their little issues, but I like to talk about problems when I'm done with it. Don't take advice from everybody because everybody's advice is not the best. If you're married and you take advice from somebody who's not married, you think that's good advice? I wouldn't even take relationship advice from people who's not married and who's not in a good relationship or who's single. You need to be intentional with what you're talking about because everything you talk about can happen in your real life. When you talk about bad things that happen, it actually comes true worse. Nothing worse can happen than this. And then the worst happens? Yeah, don't speak about it. I feel like you should pray about them and vent to God about them. Don't give bad things no more further attention. Because sometimes I do confide in my partner, I will say that. But the rest is to God. Give it to God. I feel like you should not be stressing. You should not be arguing with nobody. Chill out. Be in your femininity. Like, 
femininity is not about arguing and going back and forth and cursing so much this is my definition it don't have to be yours but this is mine because this is what i used to do y'all when i tell you i used to argue with people like when that's so bad but now i don't do that no more because it's like why am i arguing with you you're wasting your breath as a woman your breath is very valuable everything you have to say valuable you are literally the prize you should act like you're the prize you should talk like you're the prize carry yourself with some type of respect so that others respect you if you don't have confidence you don't have nothing you don't believe in yourself you don't walk with a certain yeah i'm that girl confidence is more so of like an internal thing like like in your heart know like yo i'm really that girl like, i'm really that girl and i don't gotta say a word i don't gotta say a mother thing don't spread your information too much because i feel like if you spread it to the wrong person they're gonna go tell another person you're really never alone god is always with you period so number three put effort into your appearance and take time to get ready for the past couple of days i've been getting up really early and i've been booking pilates appointments and i've been waking up early girl when i tell you i feel so much better i might take a nap after that one thing about me i'm gonna take a nap so that the rest of the day it falls in line and that at the end of the day you chill i like staying up late i like watching movies late night i like doing stuff late but it's not always beneficial because it's hard to wake up when you go to sleep early you wake up early and then you have enough time to take care of yourself it can be intentional about getting ready don't always have to rush 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 i hate rushing that's one thing and i know a lot of people can relate on that one being late is also really not good even if you live 10 minutes away from your job don't wake up at 8 30 because i'm not gonna lie it shows like when you look put together everybody's like wow you so calm instead of rushing like damn 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 it's a lot it's a lot i'm done with my rushing days honestly i'm not gonna say i'm never gonna be late in my life again being late is not okay because they're gonna look at you like oh you're the late girl you're always gonna be late anyway you're not reliable you're not trustworthy enough to come on time she could get up she could get herself together and she look good while she doing it hello just put effort into your clothing that's just going back to the first one like with your clothes make sure that they're if they need to be ironed iron it the night before make sure you have your clothes out the night before and pick them out pinterest helps y'all when i tell y'all pinterest will pick out an outfit for you look up black girl office fit mix and match i'm not saying you have to have the exact thing but when you find a little inspiration it's easier the fourth thing on the list is keeping your room and your house clean keep that house clean keep that apartment clean whatever you have keep your room clean if you are sharing a room with your roommate your sister your family just keep your side of the room clean when your room is clean your mind is clean when you don't have to think about you i gotta clean this as a busy person you already have so much stuff on your plate whatever you got going on to think about and on top of that you come home to a dirty room you know how pissed off i would be it really sets the tone light a little candle maybe led lights make sure that your room is as vibey as possible because this is again your sanctuary you're staying in your room if you come home and your room is just an entire mess your mind is gonna be like damn i have this and this and this and then i also have this messy room in front of me that i can't even think now now you now your brain is cloudy i'm not judging but get it together i will say keep it as clean as possible try to put some flowers into your room make it feel homey so that would you like to be in your room i'll be in my bed like having my feet rubbing together watching tiktoks i just be so comfortable and even when you have a dorm in college same thing keep it clean keep it organized keep it decorated keep it looking nice once you're able to make a house a home as a woman it's just like oh she ate that even pinterest they got mad styles and how people have decorated their homes and i be like wow like amazed like when i get my apartment when i get my crib it's up for everybody in their mother i just feel like decorating is such a womanly thing i'm not taking that away from the men but you know most men don't decorate most men won't make a house a home traditionally women make houses a home once you have it smelling good air fresheners candles looking good clean make sure you make up your bed every single morning when your bed is made up it's the biggest thing in your room make up that bed and then it's like oh, okay i don't have much to worry about when you're rushing there's another thing you tend to throw clothes everywhere and then when you leave your house you can't even clean it up right there and then make sure that you put back the clothes and try not to rush eat breakfast try to eat healthy as much as possible if you try to eat fruits only fruits for five days straight you might be a little hungry i won't lie <laughs> yeah when i did that i was hungry but my mind was so clear like all these fast food is not healthy your brain cannot like function off of straight fast food you gotta speed yourself a balance of vegetables 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 fruits water kombucha healthy drinks that you know is like smoothies 
that is going to feed your body the nutrients you need it's so hard to eat healthy when you live in the hood but i feel like if you go out your way to like get groceries all these when i tell you when i shot that all these like two weeks ago i was like dang little mama it's cheap they got good stuff it's more healthy when you feed yourself the right amount of nutrients and protein you will see the change in your body fifth on the list this is for my girlies that's in relationships um do not treat that man like your child do not mother your man do not smother him do not nag him you grown he grown we both know what we need to be doing why should you force a man to do something if you don't want to do it it's very clear that he don't want to do it because if somebody was nagging you like do this do this do this do this are you going to want to do it no it's not going to be genuine don't force nothing like, i feel like when you're mothering him you're smothering him as well just being your feminine and let him be in his masculine do what you need to do focus on yourself physically mentally and spiritually aligned with yourself and when you are spiritually aligned and you and god is here everything falls into place journaling taking walks going to the gym all these things that you're doing for your body and for yourself they're all gonna fall in line and when they fall in line you may be like okay she's doing her thing she's getting herself together keep up with yourself and it might inspire your man to do better don't pray with him i feel like prayer that's that says enough and i feel like if you need help ask for help don't just be like you know what i'm gonna do it myself I'm been independent all your life now you get a man it's okay that's the whole point that's why you're here that's why you're a partnership that's why you're in a relationship it was something at the top of the kitchen that i wanted to take down and i could get it myself i'm not gonna lie i could climb up on my little stool and get it but i'm like you know what might as well making him do stuff and asking for things make him feel more masculine make him feel like okay i'm helping her she need my help and technically i don't need his help but you know what i mean like but you gotta ask in a nice way in a very respectful and cute and calm way compliments always work and i just feel like going on dates are very important for your relationship and i'm not just talking about eating i'm talking about bowling me and my man love going bowling you gotta have fun in your relationship because you don't have fun that's when the spark dies and this is my sixth thing stay smelling good at all times just before this i took a shower i felt amazing and then after that of course laid it with my signature smell make sure you have a signature scent my signature scent is like more so vanilla, coconut-y type of, you know, scent. Once you have a signature scent, everybody's gonna look at you like, yeah, she always smell good. That's what she smell like. Like, they gonna immediately smell you and be like, oh yeah, that's Brianna coming. Mm -hmm. We already know. Smell you down a block, baby. I love wearing Yara and even I have perfumes in my bag. Like, I don't play that. Taking care of your hygiene is one of the most feminine things you could do. See, when you smell good and you look good, you're like, oh yeah. I did that mm -hmm. just in case if you are rushing out the house keep a perfume in your bag smelling good like right now i smell my perfume mm, smells so good. i put on the vanilla gourmet thingy a little bit of sol de janeiro and of course my yara yara is my favorite sense ever whoever made yara latafa ate that make sure that you have a monthly appointment that makes you really happy like whether that's your hair your nails your lashes waxes like i just feel like when you have that monthly appointment coming up it's like oh yeah I'm about to be done up. Like, maintenance is very important. And, like, French tip. Yeah. Y'all, my bowl fell off. I'm not gonna lie. The French tips eat. Now that I'm growing up, I feel like the French tip and the white and the pink, like, basic nail sets really do make me happy. I don't have to do too much. And that's another thing. If you a baddie, you just bad. You don't gotta do too much. But sometimes it do be hard to schedule an appointment. But, yeah, when I have my nails in, I'm just the happiest girl. I be talking with my nails all the time. <laughs> When you are very classy and very in your feminine, I feel like you have signature jewelry as well. This is my signature jewelry. Like, I always wear my pendant. It's not real. It's from Amazon. But I shower with it and it still hasn't turned. And I wear this ring that he got me literally every day. I switch out the ones that I wear. Every day is just a new little... Mm -mm -mm. You want to look nicer every day. Number seven on my list, have a journal and write it down. Check in with your mental health and making yourself happy. Like, don't wait on nobody to make you happy because at the end of the day, everybody has their own life. Nobody's here to save you. You have to do that yourself. You have to check on yourself. You have to make sure you're good because if your mental is not good, nothing is good. If your physical is not good, nothing is good. You cannot do nothing without your health, whether that's internal or external. Get your life together right now. We are in the last four months of the year. This year is going by so quick. No Nobody's gonna get it together for you if you're not putting a routine on your life and not procrastinating just getting your body right nobody who's gonna tell you who's gonna tell you let me hold your hand when i say this maybe some people might you know hold you accountable but 
how much time is going to hold you accountable? Why should somebody have to tell you as a woman, you are growing into a woman? A lot of us procrastinate. A lot of us be like, you know what, I'm going to go to the gym next week. I'm going to go next week and next week. And next week turns into next two months. Are you holding yourself accountable? Are you being disciplined? Are you being consistent? And nobody's going to do that for you. You have to keep going to be happy. You have to keep doing what you need to do and be disciplined. Number eight, I've been saying this all video. I feel like I've just been repeating this. Go to the gym, Pilates, take walks, run, do something physical for your body every single day. I'm not saying go to the gym every single day, seven days a week, because if I'm saying that, I will be lying. I don't go to the gym seven days a week. But I just made this new routine for myself. So Pilates has been helping my core, but going to the gym has been helping my glutes and my legs. Or like literally every video and never so I'm doing the gym three times a week and I'm doing Pilates two times a week. Five times in the week you're working out. Two other days, it could be a rest days, yes. Maybe do a stretch, do some yoga. You could do Pilates at home, you could work out at home as well. It is easy to say that rather than do it, but you have to get up. You have to do what you have to do. You have to get yourself moving because your health is so important. If you don't have your health, you have nothing. If you're not going to the doctor, gynecologist, whatever you need, you will never know what's wrong with you. I feel like the gym and like Pilates, just being active eliminates a lot of problems that we have in life. Literally only one week that we're normal. The other weeks we're ovulating and period and cramps the week before that. It's just a lot going on. Push yourself to where you know you can get. Like, you're stronger than you think. Damn, this is hard. But it's like, if you don't keep going, it's gonna get harder. You literally have to pick your heart. It's either you struggle and you have nothing going on for yourself, you're never active, you're not eating right, or it's hard to be disciplined, it's hard to be consistent, but you're doing it. You're getting it done. You could at least say, you know what, I checked it off. And I feel like after you work out, you feel like you accomplish a lot in a day. And it, it, it takes a lot. It's a mental and a physical thing. It's more so of like, I'm pushing myself mentally and I know I could do this. Like once you're consistent, once you're disciplined, that's all. That's all it takes. Number nine on my list, have a podcast that you watch and you follow and you listen to because what you listen to is very important. Nowadays, the music that we listen to is just trash. <clears throat> Their souls are gone. They're very soulless. They're very dark. So it's like, why we listen to music that makes us feel the way they're feeling? Well, these mainstream artists are not all the way there but it's like you feeling it like you feeling it a little too much you connected with these people more than they connect they don't even know you and you crying over the music you crying when you meet them don't be a groupie i try to eliminate music sometimes because it just doesn't help me think i feel like afrobeat is a little bit more on the positive side but it still has its like and i feel like saying this might cause a controversy i really don't care and listen to more podcasts i'm not saying eliminate music completely but lessen it is dang it's getting sunny y'all one girl that i listen to is leah alexander she is for the girls that's a girl's girl brianna gomez i was at the gym today not even listening to music i was just listening to leah alexander cleaning gym you don't have to always listen to music and i had to get out that habit you can listen to podcasts Podcast and things that help you grow because at the end of the day it's all about your self-growth and your self-worth as long as you love yourself everything is set and the last thing oh my gosh fix your posture allow your body to soften allow your body to relax that's why i say pilates is very important because when i get to pilates they make sure that we breathe first don't be taking deep breaths and at night i've been doing like meditations to fall asleep and i just feel like i'm so much more calmer i'm not like on the same vibe i was two years ago or even a year ago every time your birthday falls around you see how much change you've gotten that's not always external what everybody else could see but it's internal as long as you feel the change within yourself and within your heart that's all that matters and you can calm yourself down you can control yourself you have a lot of self-control babe you're winning when you have self-control over your emotions you would never lose emotional intelligence is so important just fix your posture sit up straight have confidence look good keep yourself smelling good keep yourself joyful don't don't have an attitude i just feel like the attitude is not needed give away money to people who need it when you're doing god's work you're doing yourself a favor everything after god falls in line i hope y'all enjoyed this video we done checked off everything on this list period i'm so proud of y'all i love y'all so much thank y'all for watching we on the road to 3k thank y'all thanks for watching rebands out